Decision 2024 is shaping up to be an interesting one in November. The Missouri ballot is filling up quick with major questions about the state's future on abortion, sports betting, and paid sick leave. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, has the latest after this weekend's big deadline. Mark. And Mike, if you wanted to put a question on the Missouri ballot, you had until last night at 5 o'clock to deliver tens of thousands of petition signatures and deliver they did. Nothing is a slam dunk, but they've all far exceeded the requirements for signatures. Campaigns to legalize abortion and sports betting celebrated major milestones over the weekend. 300,000 people signed petitions to legalize sports betting. The push to remove Missouri's ban on abortion gathered 380,000, more than double the required amount. Political analyst Anita Mannion says the hot-button issues could give voters a much-needed boost in a year when many don't love the other options on their ballot. We see a lot of people are turned off by the top of the ballot, the Biden-Trump rematch. But a lot of people, and particularly young people and what we call low-propensity voters, don't have those partisan identities. A third ballot drive would update state law to raise the minimum wage and guarantee paid sick leave. When it comes to things like minimum wage, you could see lower income and younger voters motivated by that. And certainly the abortion uh, initiative could be motivating to voters on both sides of the aisle. But which election will decide these questions? There's no way it can go on the August ballot. Not unless Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft uses a rare maneuver to rush the process to certify signatures. And one more big question could come even sooner. Missouri Republicans want voters to make this whole process harder to do. The Secretary of State has already said his belief is that if initiative petition reform were adopted in August, it would apply to the November election. If the legislature would get something around initiative petition on the ballot, voters would have to approve to make it more challenging to use these forms of direct democracy. So they tried that in Ohio and it failed pretty spectacularly. Um, we would sort of expect the same thing in Missouri. And on timing tonight, Governor Parson appears to be applying pressure on Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft to speed this process up. Parson's office saying, quote, he wants all options, primary or general elections available to him when scheduling elections for any of these initiative petitions being circulated. The quote goes on to say, if Parson believes scheduling that measure, the abortion measure for the August primary will best support the pro-life movement, then he expects to have that option.